Hello, this is Dr. Anastasia Chopoulos, and today I'm going to show you how to do your yes-no test. Now, yes-no test is based on muscle testing, and muscle testing is something that you may have um, experienced by going to a chiropractor or naturopathic doctor. And what you'll usually do is they'll put your hand out or forward and push down on it to, to test whether you stay strong or not. So this tells you a little something about the two-way conversation between your subconscious and your body. And we know from, from new research, uh, especially if you've seen that TEDx talk from Amy Cuddy of Harvard, where she explains that your body posture can change your biochemistry in a matter of two minutes. And in two minutes, if you're in your power stance, which is standing up straight, your shoulders back and your feet slightly apart, just like Superman or Wonder Woman, um, that will lower your cortisol levels, your stress levels by 20%, and it will raise testosterone by 20% in that very short amount of time. And muscle testing is a little bit of evidence of that, that when you stay strong, you're telling the truth, and when you are uh, weak, then you're lying. So tell the truth all the time and you'll stay strong. <laughs> so the way I muscle test, uh, there are a lot of different ways, but it's very inconvenient to always use your arm out. So there are a lot of finger tests that you'll find if you go on the internet. And some of these include putting your, your fingers into loops and then pulling. And this is a yes, and this is a no. And another one is to use the index of your left hand on the ring finger of your right hand. And when you push down, and this is a yes and a no, is when your finger gives out. Um, a very convenient one of using only one hand is keeping your index finger strong and pushing down um, with your ring finger and this is a yes and that's a no. And I do this all the time when I'm on the phone and I can't use both hands. And mine, uh, that I, the one that I use and developed, it, I like it because it's very, very fast. And I press and this is a yes and when it gives in, it's a no. And so I'll ask, how open is my heart chakra? And I'll go, is it at least 50%? Yes. Is 60? Yes. 70? Yes. 80? Yes. 90? Yes. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I'm 90% open. So this is how you can go about testing where you are. Now the thing to do is to ask obvious questions. When I wake up in the morning, I always ask, am I Anastasia? And it'll say yes. Sometimes it's a no. And that means there are three things that, are, that could be blocking it. Number one is I'm not all the way down in my body. Number two, my channels are blocked. And number three, I may have some sort of uh, spiritual parasites that are interfering. So the first two, you'll, you've learned how to clear those already. And the third one, you get to learn about that later. Thank you.